morning, Lakeview students and staff. Welcome back to school. This here is Principal Otterson and our assistant principal. Harper. Harper, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you? You did not say good early. You said fantastic or like <laughs> wonderful or something. What word, what adjective did you use? Uh, like super good or something. Super good. Yeah, it was like super awesome to hear you say that. Then I asked you, why are you super good? And you were like, I don't know, it just feels good today, right? Mm -hmm. Some days it just feels good. Anyway, I'm glad today is a super good day. Today, today is Friday, December 2nd. It is cycle day one. Just have a couple of quick announcements. Still snow out there, so keep wearing your top five hats, mittens, boots, snow pants, uh, gloves. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Some are mittens. No, hats, mittens, snow pants, boots. What am I forgetting? Boys and girls, I'm forgetting something. Hats, mittens, snow pants, boots. Uh, a coat. A coat? Maybe that's it. Did you say I bet you they're all saying it out there for us. Just hope so because I don't want to miss something. And again, I drove by another corner today. Middle schoolers standing there. One of them was in shorts. What did I have to do? Stop my car. Remind them. To put long pants on. Who wears <laughs> shorts at the bus stop when it's zero degrees below zero? Not a good idea, boys and girls. Yeah. Also, this morning when I was watching for buses, there were some students who were throwing snow, and they should do what? Roll the snow. Roll the snow. So don't forget that. The dance is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at my moves. Wham, bam. That's, <laughs> you know what that is? That's the dab. Don't you dab when you dance? Uh, I don't. No? No. Well, maybe that's just a Mr. Otterson thing, dabbing and <laughs> dancing. Well, anyway, that is next Friday, so looking forward to seeing all of you there. Don't forget it's here at school, so it's December 9th, 6 to 8, in the gym, and DJ Spin Master is going to be here, so it's going to be fun to see him. Keep uh, earning your pride, or, yeah, pride tickets. Keep bringing those down. We're going to have our drawing. Actually, we already had our drawing by the time you watch this, and Golden Trays. Keep up the good work. Okay, how is it that you are kind to your friends? Because, you know, Harper, you are chosen as assistant principals, and assistant principals are kind, and we're working on being kind to each other. So how is it that you're kind to your friends? What do you do? Um, maybe, like, I could say you look nice today, or I give them, like, yeah, like, give them a compliment. Give them a compliment. Those are great things to do, just because. It's just nice to give people compliments, right? So that's a great way, boys and girls. So use that to show that you care about the people around you. Oh, in Otter News, here you go. Your teacher can always tell when you did your homework on the bus. How do you think teachers can tell that? Uh, I don't know. Well, think about it. When you're riding the bus, is it a nice, smooth ride? So it's probably, what kind of work are you turning in? Probably like messy or Might something. Might be a little messy. So boys and girls, if you think you can get away with doing your homework on the bus, I don't know, it might be a bit messy, but you called it something else. You didn't call it homework, you called it what? Like bus work or bus something? Bus work, yep. Maybe, you have, maybe your teacher will tell you, hey, I got some bus work for you. All right, here I have a joke. Why did the robber take a bath? You know, it's always good that we all take a bath. You ever yeah. take a bath? Uh, I, I usually take showers and Yeah, stuff. I'm a shower person too, but some people like baths. I'm not this guy. But robbers, some robbers like to take a bath. So why did the robber take a bath? Because he wanted to make a clean getaway. Doo -doo. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. All right. Yeah. We are... Um, we are positive, responsible, involved, determined, and equitable. I look forward to seeing your greatness today. Goodbye. Welcome, Welcome back, like you students. students. This is Daniel. And this is Easton. What is your favorite winter activity? I like to play outside in the snow. What is your favorite winter activity? I like snowboarding. Lunch today is cheese omelet, egg, eggo emoji waffles, syrup, crispy tater tots, baby carrots, assorted fruit, assorted juice, milk, choice two, pretzel seeds, and cheese box. The word of the week is haywire. Haywire means not working well. For example, the lights went haywire and started blinking. The good to the topic of the week is I use my talents and abilities to be the best person I can be. I show LVE pride when I'm one of a kind and have special gifts and talents I can share with others. Happy birthday to Gavin, Paisley, Talia, 
Ayan Ahmed. If you're looking for a good book, I recommend Marvel Studios Character Encyclopedia. Do you love superheroes? You will love this book. If you're looking for a good book, I recommend Minecraft Dungeon Explorers. If you like graphic novels and Minecraft, this one is for you. Announcements. Announcements. If only go to the bathroom during your classroom visit time. All of the vi visits are for emergencies only. If something doesn't look right in the bathroom, tell your teacher right away. Please spread holiday cheer this season. Today I encourage you to write a kind note to your grade level buddy. Let them know you are thinking of them. Please do not write on the tabletops when you are making your nuts. If there's drawing or writing on the tabletops, holiday cheer will close for a few days. James the Elf is back. Did you find him today? I hope, I hope you have a great, great day. Don't, Don't forget, forget to read, 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 read and, and take good, time to be good, kind. Good, good. Please it's charge your iPad, iPad every, every night, night and stay tuned, tuned for today's short video. video. Bye! Bye. Wait, oh, they smell like America. Today's episode is about giving back and about how good can spread. I'm going to need a bigger bag. Got too much good to give. You're not one of those people who say the world can't be changed. You, you believe that it's everybody's duty to give the world a reason to dance, right? We have a whole world to make more awesome. People, we need you. We really need you. Kids, people used to be kids, everybody. But how, Key President? Everything's terrible. Hey, quiet you. I know, sometimes things can look pretty dark, but there's always light. Light is always still there. In fact, let me show you how good spreads. Yeah, this is my baby right here. Okay, I, I need you guys to listen up. This is How Good Spreads. Let's read. How does good spread? Can we make the world brighter? Can we together make somebody's load lighter? Some people think good only spreads if you have lots of money. Or a nonprofit who makes a cool video that's slick and really funny. Yeah. Burp. Does good only spread when you have the right hashtag, or the right bracelet, or t-shirt, or give out free tote bags? Does good happen by accident, just out of the blue? Does good only spread when Beyonce allows it to? Queen Bee? She's pretty powerful, but wow, 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 so are you. The world's only seen a glimpse of what you can do. Your heart is so big, but you might feel so small. I'm telling you now, you're thinking as a flaw. <laughs> good spreads when good is spread. And that's totally how you live. You share and you love, and you give and give and give. If someone needs lifting, you send them a rope. Your little whispers of love sends out huge gusts of hope. I know what you're thinking. That's a nice little story you're reading, Kid President. But what about me? You wanna know how you can make good things spread in the world? Show up. Show up in the world, you'll be a light. You'll see work to be done on your left and your right. Like Caitlin, a girl who met people in need and started putting inspiring words on dusty old keys. Now she gives people jobs and second chances. She's filling the world with more and more dances. Or Ricky, a funny guy who wanted to share random acts of kindness everywhere. Communities are changing in Cleveland and tons of other places because Ricky just wanted to put smiles on folks' faces. I mean, there's other things too. Ever heard of Socktober? Well, Brad, the guy behind the camera here. Well, before we started all this cute president stuff, he started in Socktober. He was just a guy who wanted to make a difference. He was just a sad, pale man. Hey, come on. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Well, anyway, he heard socks were one of the most needed but least donated items in homeless shelters. Right when they're preparing in the winter months, there are over 600,000 men and women who are homeless in the United States. And some of them were children. He started telling some friends, and then they started telling some friends, and telling schools, and telling churches, and then the next year, grew even bigger. We started this little Keep President project, and I invited some people to help out. October! And you totally have. So October drives have happened all over the United States, in every single state, and on every single continent. That's the whole world, y'all. There's just a need. There's good to be done, and we're inviting people to do it. I guess that's just how good spreads. So how will you show up? How will you make things brighter? By loving the people next to you. And making your loads lighter. Anger is contagious. Hate and fear, they are too. But I'm not here to spread those. <laughs> and neither are you. We're here to spread hope and make the world dance. Open your eyes and your heart and we might stand a chance. Get out of your comfort zone and get out of your head. Get to loving people and good can't help but be spread. Ah, oh, don't know about y'all, but I'm ready. Ready to dance. <laughs>